guys it is monday april i'm gonna stop rocking because it's gonna drive me nuts monday april 1st today happy april fools this video is not a joke it's very very serious anywho i know it's been like decades since i did a video on my um, channel here and life's been a bit crazy um, kind of just had to take a step back and uh, focus on some other things um, me and my husband recently took over um, the family restaurant my mom's owned it for the past um, 19 years and uh, it's time for her to start slowing down so I'm stepping up and taking over the restaurant it's a um, breakfast and lunch diner kind of style, huge portions, really good food um, in our little town that I grew up in. Um, and it's a very, very successful restaurant and we're very excited for this opportunity and um, looking forward to seeing, you know, what it brings and the challenges. And um, so we've been doing that we took that over in January so it's been a few months now and it's going very well um, but it has you know taken a lot of time and so other things have kind of had to be sacrificed um, for this opportunity I am still um, working out a lot I ran a another marathon um, on in March um, so last month, March 3rd, I ran a Napa Valley Marathon, and it went well. I had a lot of stomach issues, which was frustrating, so I didn't set a PR, but, you know, I completed it, and after that race, I really felt something on my heart to look into more ultra runs, um, trail running. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do forever. It's always been... My dream and my ultimate goal is to to run, you know, 50 miles in one day, 100 miles. So, you know, I'm going on running my fourth marathon this December, so uh, this next December. So I think it's time to start working my way towards that goal, and I feel like, why not now? So um, I'm going to be doing the American River 50 miler race um like exactly one year from right now, um, next April. And it's gonna be in, we're gonna be running from Sac to Auburn. And I'm very, very excited, um, nervous. Uh, one year seems like a long ways away to get ready and prepare, but I know it's gonna come quick and I have a lot, a lot of work to do if I'm going to be ready. So I decided that, and I'm sorry I'm like whispering, but my, um, three-year-old is sleeping behind this wall, so I have to be quiet. <laughs> Maybe because this one decided to wake up a little early. Yeah. Okay. Make sure. Okay. Anyway. So, I'm running that next April. So, I wanted to... I've really been wanting to get back on YouTube and start making videos again um, because I really enjoy it and I enjoy, um, I don't know, meeting new people and inspiring other people and helping others. So um, I'm going to try to get back on my channel um, and this next year, over this next year, um, I'm going to be focusing on my 50 mile race and all my training and nutrition and everything I do to prepare for that. Um, so I'm going to kind of try to, over the next year, my channel is going to be kind of geared towards that and um, kind of the title of this series, I guess, over the next year is going to be my journey to 50 miles. And you guys will get to see exactly how I train for that, all my training, all um, how I eat, um, my nutrition, how it's going to change, and um, just everything that goes into preparing for a ultra run. Um, and yes, I've run marathons and I've been running for some years, but even if you haven't been running and this is something that is a goal for you, 
um, it's definitely attainable. Anything is possible if you set your mind to it. And if you train, do the right training, eat the right food, um, and have the right mindset, you could do this too. So I want to show people that, you know, it's hard work, but anything can be done. So, um, that's what's going on in my life. I, I don't know, like the last time I was making videos, I was doing keto for a little while. Um, I'm not on keto anymore. Um, in one of my videos, I said that kind of high cholesterol runs in my family, unfortunately. So the keto diet was not best for me um, because my cholesterol was getting really high. So I had to go off keto. Um, nothing against keto. I think keto is great for a lot of people, but not for me. Um, I then was um, experimenting with um, vegetarian slash vegan a little bit. Um, I really enjoyed that. The only thing with that is it was kind of challenging for my lifestyle. Um, I live like on a farm and a ranch and um, we kind of just meat is just something that we just eat <laughs> i guess and so it was kind of challenging um to not eat i mean it was i felt good but i feel like i didn't really see any huge benefits or changes to not eat meat um or eggs or you know so um, it was a good experience. Um, I'm glad I kind of experimented with it. I did it for a few months and um, I did feel a little more energy, which was interesting. But, um, you know, I I eat, I definitely have been eating meat a lot less um, since I experiment, experimented with vegetarian vegan. So um, I probably eat meat only a few days a week. Um, and then I focus more plants, you know, real whole foods pretty much. Um, so going into this next year, um, training for the ultra, I will be really focusing on my nutrition this next few months. Um, I am doing this, oh, let me get it here. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this, this portion fix, ultimate portion fix by Beachbody. I used to be a Beachbody coach couple years ago um, and I do love the products I love the programs and this is goes along with the color containers um, to help you with portion sizes and whatnot I love this program because it's um, very doable um, you, you don't really aren't really restricted in, as in what you can eat um, pretty much you're more restricted in just dialing down your portions and learning about portion sizes, which is great um, because I do tend to just love eating and I eat probably more than more than I should sometimes and on other days I don't eat enough. So this really gets you kind of in line with what you should making sure you're eating enough or, you know, dialing down. Um, so I think this is going to be really good. I'm starting this actually today. So I, this is actually a log book where you kind of log all your stuff, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to try and take you guys with me today and show you kind of a day in the life of what my eating habits are going to be um, for this next few months, trying to dial in my nutrition, create some new good habits, kind of take out processed stuff, eat more real whole foods. Um, I to actually, crazy you guys, it's crazy. I dumped out all my creamer yesterday, my coffee creamer. And I'm not drinking coffee creamer anymore because I was drinking like the full sugar kind and it's just really not good for you. And I've been wanting to kick it for a while, but it's just hecka hard. So last night I dumped out my creamer and I said, you know what? I gotta do it so this morning I did like half a cup of almond milk vanilla extract cinnamon and trivia and it's actually pretty good it's not creamer but I think it's something I can get used to so anyway um sorry this intro is really long 
a lot to catch you guys up on. I don't really have, I'm not really in my training for the Ultra yet as far as running. Um, that won't be for the next three or four months. I will still run, but um, I'm going to focus a lot more on strength training right now um, while keeping my cardio up and my nutrition. So that's the plan. Um, I miss you guys. I'm excited to be back on YouTube um, and showing you guys what I'm doing. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to take you guys along with me for what I eat today. I probably won't be working out today because my back is hurting from my, I had a race this weekend and it kind of tweaked my back. Uh, ridiculous. So I will probably be starting the workout tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly. I don't really have a schedule on how many days a week I'm going to be recording. It kind of, my life is just crazy right now. So it just depends on when I am able. So I would like to at least do one video a week for you guys and kind of update you, keep you guys updated on how things are going. And like I said, if any of you have questions or are interested in doing an ultra marathon, ultra race yourself, um, feel free to reach out to me. Or if you are an expert in ultra running or have done ultra races and have any advice for me on how, you know, how to prepare yourself for your first one, um, I would love um, to hear from you. I'm also looking into um, learning how to bike ride. I mean, I know how to ride a bike. I know how to ride a bike, but um, incorporating riding into my training, um, kind of switching things up. I think that would be fun and um, keeps your body kind of on its toes. So if any of you guys are bike riders out there and have any tips to start that, I would love to hear from you also. Anyway, look forward to hearing from you guys. Look forward to um, reconnecting and, and yeah, I'm excited. So, are you excited? It's Monday. And she's on spring break. It's gonna be a fun week. Okay guys, I'll see you in a little bit. And love ya. Okay. Love ya. Love ya. Here is breakfast. Doesn't look very appetizing, but it is. This is like a maple oatmeal with pecans, maple syrup, chia seeds. Um, put a little PB2 in there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tasty actually. And about half a cup of strawberries. And that's breakfast. This is for a portion fix. About one yellow, um, one purple. And with the PB2, probably a teaspoon. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna go eat.
Sorry about the horrible lighting in my office, but I'm in my office at my restaurant and I just wanted to give you guys a quick kind of update on the day. Hold on, I'm going to try to make you guys higher. Hi, that's better. So let's still look down here. It's been a crazy, crazy busy day here at the restaurant. It's spring break, so we've been slammed. Um, and I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on what I've eaten today and what I've not eaten. So I have, kind of look, I think this is about half full still. Um, actually, it looks like it's, I can see it now, it's about two thirds of the way full still. So I got some work to do on my water. I try to drink at least one of these when I'm working out a lot I try to drink two of these this is a half gallon so it's really hard to drink water at work when it's super busy it's just you don't have time to stop and drink water it's horrible but anyway especially when you're on the line and cooking um, um, and I do cook four days a week at my restaurant so it's really hard to stop and drink water anyway so I'm working on that um, I've been working on my shake that I made this morning it's kind of my lunch um, I had carrots, a cup of carrots. I filled up one of my green containers of carrots and I had that with a single serve of hummus from Costco. Um, I had that for a snack and then I've been drinking my shake. Um, I was going to try to have a small salad with spinach and veggies um, for an afternoon snack, but I'm not hungry. Um, I actually even brought some dressing, homemade um, Dijon mustard with balsamic and olive oil dressing I made for my salad because the only dressings we have at our restaurant are not good for you. So I was going to have that for an afternoon snack. It's 3.30 but I'm just not hungry and I would rather drink the rest of my shake. So I think I'm just going to skip that. Um, one thing that I do not like to do and I don't really believe in is eating when you're not hungry. Uh, if you're not hungry, obviously your body is telling you to, that it doesn't need food, it doesn't need fuel, it's good. Um, so I don't feel like we should put food in our bodies or stuff ourselves if we're not hungry. So I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat. I'll just finish this and wait till dinner. So we're having leftover. I made curry, um, chicken curry with veggies and quinoa last night so I'm gonna have just leftovers of that tonight and I'll show you guys what that's all about later but um yeah it's been a really busy day I have to go get my tires changed now I have to replace all my tires on my car this afternoon which sucks really expensive but do what you gotta do so I'm um, about to head out and do that and then should get home around dinner time and that's our day I'm gonna eat dinner get the girls ready for bed and hit the hit, hit the hay oh so update on my back um it's feeling a lot worse actually today because I am on my feet all day at work um lifting and doing things that you shouldn't be doing when your back is hurting um so um I'm actually starting to feel sharp pains in my legs so I'm getting a little concerned I'm going to see if it's worse tomorrow. If it is, I'm going to call a chiropractor and have to go get it checked out because um, it's not worth damaging anything. But as of right now, it's not feeling too good. So I was hoping to start my workout tomorrow, but I don't know how that's going to go. So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But um, yeah, that's today. And hope you all are having a good day. And I will see you guys at dinner.
Say bye to everyone, guys. Bye. Okay, bye.